Okay, these notes are conservation of mass. The law of conservation of mass states that mass is neither created nor destroyed during a chemical reaction. In other words, the total mass of the reactants is the same as the total mass of the products. Well, the reactants are on the left side, so that's what you start out with. And then they mix together and form products. So the mass has to be the same. Mass can't just disappear into thin air. Okay, let's look at this first example. So actually this should be example number one. Okay, in an experiment, 10 grams of red mercury 2 oxide powder, which we write as HGO, is placed in an open flask and heated until it is converted to liquid mercury, which we write HG for, and oxygen gas, which is O2. The liquid mercury has a mass of 9.26 grams. What is the mass of oxygen formed in the reaction? Well, we're going to set this up as an algebra type equation because that's basically what it is. This is something you guys have done in Algebra 1. So let's go to the next slide and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so here on this one, we've got 10 grams of the mercury to oxide. So we're going to write 10.0 grams underneath it. Now the arrow turns into an equal sign because you got the left has to equal the right. Okay. Now it also said there was 9.26 grams of the liquid mercury. So we're going to put 9.26 grams here and we're trying to find the O2. Ooh, get rid of the G's and we have an algebra equation. Well, we're just going to ignore the G's, but we have an algebra equation. So we have 10 equals 9.26 plus X. I think you guys can handle solving this equation, but just in case you can't, let's subtract 9.26 from both sides. So we get 0 0.74 grams equals X. So your O2, the mass of your O2 is 0 0.74 grams. Kind of easy on that one, right? Okay, the next one's a little harder, but not much. Okay, we're going to call this example two. When propane, which is C3H8, is burned, water and carbon dioxide are formed in the following reaction. So if you'll notice, there's an, there's an oxygen in there too, because we know O2 is oxygen. So 150 grams of propane, which is the C3, whoops, yeah, C3H8, is burned with 25 grams of oxygen, which is the O2, to form 100 grams of carbon dioxide. How much of the water, the H2O, is formed? Okay, so we're going to do this exactly the same way we did the last problem. So switch to the next slide. Okay, we're going to do the same thing here we did on the other one. We're going to put the numbers underneath the um, substances. So it said that we have 150 grams of the propane and is burned with 25 grams of the oxygen, so we'll put the equal in there, and 100 grams of carbon dioxide is formed, and then we just have to find the water. Okay, well, we're just going to add the two on the left, so 150 plus 25 is 175, equals 100 grams plus X. Now we're going to subtract the 100 from both sides, so 75 grams equals X. So for the water, the mass of the water is 75 grams. Now notice the big numbers. We didn't do anything with those big numbers. With the law of conservation of mass, we don't have to, okay? That's just balancing the equation, and we'll get into that later on down the road. So don't worry about those big numbers in front of the chemical substances. They don't play a part in this at all, okay? So you can just kind of ignore them. If you want, just kind of scratch them out. You just have to have balanced equations when we talk about chemical equations. But as I said, the big numbers for what we're doing today mean nothing. Okay? So that's it for the notes, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.